Seoul court issued another short-term arrest warrant for Choi Soon Shil, the woman at the heart of the growing power abuse scandal. There is growing evidence also she may have interfered with the appointment of high-level government officials, including top envoys. Hwang Wo-jun has the latest from the Independent Counsel Office. I still have no idea who tipped me to become an ambassador. But if somebody has recommended me to this post with an ulterior motive, I can assure you that somebody has got the wrong person. That was Korea's ambassador to Myanmar, Yu Jae-kyung, speaking to reporters at the Independent Council office Tuesday morning, soon after his arrival in the country and before his actual interrogation. However, according to the Independent Council spokesperson, Ambassador Yu admitted during questioning that he had not only met Choi soon Shil, the jailed confidant of President Park Geun-hye and the woman at the center of the sprawling influence peddling scandal, but also that he was recommended by her to represent Korea in Yangon. Ambassador Yu is a former senior executive at Samsung Electromechanics and had no experience in diplomacy until he was appointed. The independent counsel team suspects that Choi got Yu hired in order to push through an overseas aid program in Myanmar in an attempt to acquire personal gain. And for that reason, the special probe team sought a short-term arrest warrant for Choi on charges of acceptance of a bribe for good offices. The Seoul court accepted the request and issued the warrant on Tuesday evening. That will allow the team to compel Choi to appear for questioning. The writ is valid for 48 hours and will likely be executed on Wednesday at the earliest. Meanwhile, the spokesperson confirmed that a long-awaited face-to-face interrogation of President Park Geun-hye is taking shape. It's true that we're coordinating the schedule at this moment, but factors such as the venue and logistics are still yet to be decided. The probe team, led by independent counsel Park Yong soo has repeatedly urged the need to question the president by early February. President Park is suspected of colluding with Che in extorting money and favors from large conglomerates and allowing Che, a civilian, to meddle in important state affairs. President Park once called the charges against her, quote, preposterous and colossal lies, and has challenged the probe's neutrality, fueling suspicions that she could dodge formal questioning. Time is ticking for the team, which is initially authorized to investigate until February 28th. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.